everybody's favorite fuckboy. Well, actually, question. Who was your favorite fuckboy? <laughs> Not favorite, but just like that motherfucker was just like, you just be like, oh, this motherfucker. We're talking about Ken Do Isaacs, everybody. Ken Do Isaacs. So this guy, we all know that he is getting reported 30 is it thirty thousand? Yeah, thirty thousand a month in spousal support. So he was recently hospitalized for stress. Your your boy can do his stress, y'all. He is stressed. He is going through it, y'all. Oh yeah, I brought it back. Thought I forgot. Ha <laughs> ha. But stress. Okay. He is now, like I said, for those of you who do not know, Ken Do is Mary J. Blige's estranged husband. So, like I said, they have pretty much, for the most part, already gone through the court process. And uh, the last thing that I'm aware of is he is trying to get more spousal support. But he has said that the ongoing divorce <clears throat> has called physical manifestations of stress and emotional distress. Which has caused him to become hospitalized. He also claims that he is unemployable. That this situation has made him unemployable. Paying his rent has become impossible. Without Mary J. Blige, he would be destitute. And again... He receives $30,000 a month in spousal support and is requesting an increase to $65,000 a month. If this ain't a fuck boy, I don't know what is. Now, now, let me say this again. I try to sit here and I want to, you know, be very full spectrum before I even give my opinion. Is this fucked up? Yes, it is. 30,000 is definitely a month <laughs> is definitely more than enough for anyone to survive now of course when you know alimony and spouse support and whatnot is given out for the most part if the spouse in question has been accustomed to a certain lifestyle then yeah the whole little offset for that but with 30,000 Pimmy, you can sit here and go to a place with a low cost of living and still live in a very good area and still have money to trick off on. And it doesn't look good. <clears throat> and, you know, hopefully I can find the video. But Zell Swag is recording you sitting here tricking off Mary J. Blige's money. So the spouse support that you get, you sitting here, you know, putting it on the table. Zell Swag is making a fool of you, whether you knew it or not, pretty much saying that you finna sit here and lose all of it. So you're destitute and all this other stuff, all this emotional distress and whatnot, and it's manifested into, bruh, come on now. <clears throat> come on now. Quit playing. Stop playing. Alright, let's, let's, let's be very clear. The only thing is, you know, like I said, you're not accustomed to spending all of Mary J. Blige's money. You have more than enough to live off on. But, for all the ladies out there, and here's the thing, we all can agree to disagree. It is what it is. Because like I said, this show is y'all's show. Okay, we create this together. I just stand here and just do most of the talking and help facilitate it, more or less if it was on Periscope. But we're not going to pretend like females do not do this all the time, especially female celebrities when they get divorced where they, they request more money and want more money because they have become a custom to. And my thing is this, if I was married to Mary J. Blige and I had 30000 trust me when I say I know I have several places in mind that I will go fucking live and shit, I will sit here and like have bills taken care of, first and foremost. Buy the house flat out, one. Two, figure out what my damn bills is. Set that aside. Take out a little portion, you know, for, you know, food and whatnot. You know, another little bit for my allowance for the money to go trick off on. Put the rest of that shit up in savings and go right the fuck going. And this, and wasn't your daughter on TV, you know, talking all this bull swanky on Mary J. Blige and how she ain't calling or whatnot, but she was the same individual that was sitting here going up for you. Why don't you go ahead and send some of that money on to your motherfucking daughter because apparently she needs it. My advice to you, Hindu. If cost of living is too high, if you're going to be destitute with thirty thousand, move. Just move. Just just make it easy on yourself. 
but you pulling these stunts and tricks is not helping. And I'm going to talk about Mary at the very end of the show. Because, like I said, I'm, I'm going to go off for Mary. I don't know about y'all, but I love me some Mary J. Blige. Okay, I love her. Like I said, I grew up listening to her. Like, my favorite album by her is the No More Drama album. So, I love Mary. Whew. All right. Let's talk about Rob Kardashian and Black China. So, back in uh, 2016, December time frame, <clears throat> Rob, uh, well, actually, let me backtrack. So, Rob Kardashian and part of the Kardashian clan is suing Black China for um, estate damages. And we'll talk further about that. <clears throat> so, to kind of get and so I'm gonna give y'all the back so I'm gonna give y'all the claims that Rob Kardashian said and I'm gonna try to like post I'm gonna emphasize but I'm gonna try to post like those words that just popped out to me okay so he says that Black China went ballistic and choked him with an iPhone cord and that's why he filed a lawsuit for those damages now, according to the court documents, and these were obtained by um, TheBlast.com, so y'all can go there to, you know, check the story out. Rob claims that Black China consumed a significant amount of drugs and alcohol on set night. Also, he said in the lawsuit that Black China was uh, on the phone, I believe FaceTime, with two friends, okay, and was carelessly playing with Rob's gun, unaware if it, if the gun was loaded or if the safety was on. Also claimed later that evening, Black China lunged towards him and with an iPhone cable charging cord, attempted to strangle Bob with the cord around his neck. And when Rob tried to get away, she chased him repeatedly struck him in the head and face. Now, uh, at this time, they were renting uh, the estate from uh, Kylie, his sister, and um, I believe that Kylie is also suing, but uh, she even says that China threw a chair nearby at Rob, causing damage to the vehicle that he was in, and also used a metal rod to injure Rob. Now, in the lawsuit, Kylie is suing Black China because the house was hers. The estimated damage is in excess of one thousand. I'm sorry, one hundred thousand dollars. And along with that, uh, apparently, they claim that uh, China terrorized Kylie by telling her to get tested for sexually transmitted diseases because Kylie is dating Tyga at the time. And Tyga is her baby daddy or baby's father. Whichever one it is, I'm not in a relationship, so I'm not here to judge. Now, with all of those words, let's, let, let me sit here and break this down to y'all because I don't know if y'all caught it. Better yet, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to sip my glue vine. Probably go... Pull some more up in here. I'm going to hit this in because I want y'all to sit here and think about these words that I put emphasis on and what it means. Because I'm going to tell you what I think it means. So what I think it means is this. It has nothing to do with $100,000. Of course. $100,000 to anybody is money. Okay, I'm pretty sure to the Kardashians probably ain't that much. But $100,000 to anybody is significant money. And hey, if you fucked up my shit, you are going to therefore pay for what it is that you messed up. So, we got that. But with all the different things, <clears throat> you know, saying that, you know, Black China went ballistic, pretty much saying mentally unstable. She consumed a significant amount of drugs and alcohol hinting towards substance abuse carelessly playing with Rob's gun unaware if the safety was on or if it was loaded 
you know, probably, so all of this, saying that she lunged at him, that she chased him, that she threw a chair at the car, that she tried to beat him with a rod, all of these different things, what they are trying to do, the picture that they are trying to paint, is they are trying to paint Black China as mentally unstable and unfit to take care of their child. Now, yes, it is documented that Rob Kardashian does have, you know, some um, some issues himself, but they're trying to paint the picture that her instability is way worse than his instability. Hence, <clears throat> getting um, custody of baby dream Kardashian. Because as long as Black China has custody, that means that the Kardashians, and I say Kardashian as a whole because nothing against Rob, I already know what he does, <clears throat> but he is going to have to pay for you know, child support. And I mean, I don't really mess with Kanye like that, but he said the best. 18 years. 18 years. Got one of your kids. Got you for 18 years. But if he can prove her instability and get sole custody, shoes on the other foot. Now, to further go on, I'll rise with snitch reports that China wants the case tossed out. All right, and according to, I guess, new documents filed, she claimed that she strangled Rob in self-defense and that her actions was uh, uh, pretty much necessary. All right. <clears throat> so you have admitted that, you know, you said, hey, you know, you choked him out and all this other stuff and trying to, you know, say that you did in self-defense. But here's the thing. If that's the case and this was filed a while back, why are you waiting now? To sit here and try to put this into motion. So, y'all let me know how y'all feel. I really have nothing to say to either entity in this. I really don't. I don't have a dog in this fight. Whew. All right.